Season 2, Episode 14 of The Adventure Begins with Chaz. I'm Sherrick. We got some events. We do. Yeah. We Everybody do. knows about the daily events that we have. Because we if, talk about those at the beginning of the month. And we talk about them quite often. Yeah, like way too much. But like, what about the weird, cool, special things we got going on during the week? That's what this segment's for. Whoa! That's right, man. Uh, so Monday the 17th. Yeah. Which is the day this airs. Right now. Like every Monday. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, riddle number four. <laughs> really, uh Asma day, as asthma day, asthma day, as asthma day, asthma day, asthma day. It's funny because you talk to people who work at asthma day. Uh, each one of them pronounces it differently. I say asthma day, asthma do, potato, potato. Hey, seven wonders riddle number four. Riddle uh, this. Come on in, get the QR code. Shh, got a riddle for you. Yeah, it's really simple. It's simple as that. It's all week. That's right. So get going. Come on. Resets every Monday. Yeah, so also while you're watching this, don't forget, uh, the paint competition entry begins right now. That's going to be $5 per entry. Once again, we have a Juniors League. Uh, we're going to have a uh, regular size, a large size, and a super large size. So $5 per entry. Oh, wow. Wow. And you can do multiple entries if you really want. And once again, the theme is yellow. Unless you're an adult. You can't do the junior. You can't do the junior. That's kind of cheating. No. And the cool thing with the junior side is you don't have to do the theme. By the way, if uh, you're pretty baller at painting and you're like, this is my kid did this. No. No. We want to see it in store. I see Pastor Lies, Kevin. <laughs> and that's all week for sure. This month's theme is yellow. Yellow. It's notoriously a hard color to paint, and so we wanted to push the envelope a little bit. So Very why not? Cool. Yeah. Unless you're painting a banana. There you go. Tuesday the 18th, we've got the Dragon Ball Sanction Store Tournament. This is 10 bucks, 5.45 in the p.m. Yep, 15-minute segments, boys and girls. That's mm -hmm. how we do things here. That's right. And yep. uh, here's Julius with last week's winners. Yeah, these are... This week's winners. Thursday the 20th, we got Comic Art Night. Bring your own supplies and art. It's totally free. It's at 5 p.m. We've discussed this, but since it's so new, we got to drill it in there. You really do. Yeah. This is the thing we're doing. It's not like miniature painting on Mondays no. or Pokemon on Saturdays. No. Or Warhammer on Saturdays. Because no. we all know about those. We all know about these. <laughs> Everyone knows about these. Now it's Comic Art Night. That's right. And it's a free thing. So all you got to do is bring yourself, bring your supplies, and bring whatever you're arting. It's really simple. No, you show off your art. It's, just, it's, it's an art club. No. Can't go wrong. Saturday, May 22nd, guess what we get the Pokemon Team Summer Challenge. This is a free event. Once again, free, free, free. Mm -hmm. uh, 4 p.m. is when that starts. In, all the information on that should be on our Discord, including signups, all the fun stuff. So if you don't have access to that, hop onto the website where it should be there. It should be. Should be. Yeah. Should. And Saturday, the 22nd, same day, yep. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Uh, it sells the, paint uh, kits. It's a paint kit. It's a red slat. It's a big old red frog that likes to uh, basically alien people, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's a twenty dollar kit. I think we have one left as of when we're filming right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're like itching to get some painting up, you want to learn how to do stuff, you want a cool walk around tutorial that's going to walk you through it. And I'm also there to make snide comments while we do things. Hey, hey, guess what? It starts at five p.m. Twenty bucks, and you're in. So you uh, teach people how to like paint this certain character, right? Yep. This so uh, yeah, so the whole thing comes with a it comes with everything you need to paint it up, on, like as it does in the box. There is a uh, video we're going to watch along as we're going to do step by step, almost like Bob Ross in it. And I'll be there to help out if there's questions. I'll make snide comments based on what you say uh, i'll give you fun nicknames you know the, the, the total jared experience <laughs> all that for 20 bucks all that for 20 bucks and tonight you'll never forget and then we're gonna have voting uh on saturday it, it the voting ends on saturday right the voting does it starts saturday. and ends on saturday the yes. voting so voting for the yellow yeah so weird how these things co like you know line up with each other uh so the yellow paint contest voting is also on saturday come in uh from 11 o'clock until about eight o'clock when voting goes through mm -hmm. i'll uh, go through all that fun stuff you'll get to vote for two things per category now keep that in mind uh so vote for your top two for that category uh movers winners then move on to the, the, the finalist round which is myself jason and probably a third other artist doing our best to kind of go over the top uh for each category and which will pick uh the best winner so all of the adults is one category no matter if it's big small no. whatever that's one category per individual category Per individual category. So if you get like a small miniature and there's like there's twelve of you, cool, mm -hmm. you could fight there. If there's like only three large miniatures, well, it's a smaller pool you got to go against. Right, uh, but okay. it's still pretty interesting. Lots of votings. Lots of voting. So make sure you vote, kids. Vote, vote, vote. 
Uh, what do these people win, by the way, if they want to join? You're going to win some cool in-store credit, as well as uh, you know having your thing displayed in the display case for the next month, or till whenever you want to pick it up. Really, as simple as that. And the display case is right behind the register, in case you don't know, in case yeah. you're like brand new to the show or yeah, to the so, store. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. It is central location for the rest of the people. So, the amount of people coming through and looking at these things is pretty cool. It's always a showstopper. They do stop. They really do. And they're like, oh my yeah, this is so cool. I'm like, yeah. oh no, right, we know those people. Yeah, so keep in mind, if you drop off something for the contest, please pick it up as soon as you can. Um, Especially if you're not a winner, uh, we want to clear that out so that we can get more stuff in there. Get all your uh, losers out of here. Get your losers out of here. <laughs> um, so we got a lot of stuff going in there recently, so we want to make sure we can clear it up and get as much of our stuff on display as well. For sure. Sunday, May 23rd, we got the D and D Adventures League. This is 16 plus. That's right. This is for the big, big kids. kids. Signups are online. Four dollars uh, for 4 p.m. Five dollars buy-in. All the usual stuff we talk about every week. Huh? Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, upcoming events, uh, we got the 2021 NBA Prism, Prism. Hobby Box Break. $50 a slot. This is a random break. Yep. And uh, we're having a good time with these breaks. It's a lot of fun. I'm liking it. Last week's break went pretty well. I heard it went pretty it well. Was, it was pretty awesome. Unless you had like two or three teams who didn't get nothing. Yeah. Didn't get a pool, but uh, we threw those cats some player of the day packs so that we go. had. One of the guys opened them in store, had a one on one of like a burrow or something, and went totally meltdown crazy. So yeah. he paid uh, X amount of dollars for his spot and got a card that was well worth it and Very didn't even so. come from the box that we opened. Exactly. <laughs> so we're always giving away free stuff. So come on down and be a part of that. It's a good time. That's right, man. Don't forget to check out uh, all the upcoming events on our Facebook page, Discords, and YouTubes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All the fun stuff. You can check it out over at uh, The Adventure Begins once again on Facebook or Instagram. That's right, man. Or both. You ready for Kermix? I'm always ready for Kermix. Let's go. Ah! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>
It's in the safe. Mm. Yeah, it was released in 1989, and this mm. marks the very first appearance of Jubilee. Oh, nice. Jubilation Nation. A is lot. Is? She got really popular during the X-Men animated series. She did, yeah. And uh, she's been a fan favorite for a long time. Fan favorite. So how cool. We've only got one, so make sure you come in and grab it while you can. Grab it while it's hot. Do you want to see how that David Desmulchin interview ends? I mean, might as well at this point. I know, right? Right? Plus, yeah. man, we're going to get some autographed cards for you, for watching. Wow. Just got to comment. Like? Here's the end. Are you just rocking out while you're waiting for me to log back in? Yeah? What yeah, are you just... listening to right now? Uh, nothing. I, it's, man, there's always music in my head. Since I'm I mean, musician. I guess I mean, like, what are you listening to? Like, any recommendations right now of, like, any cool stuff? <laughs> I hear you. I just was last so podcast. Are you a last podcast on the left guy? Oh, yeah. Those oh, guys. yeah. That, the dollop is one of my all-time favorites. Oh, my God, dude. What do you got? <laughs> that is so rocking, dude. So um, I recently um, – let me see if I've got another cool thing from them. I'm sure you know Sideshow Collectibles. Yes. So Sideshow – they're so amazing. Those guys are such badasses. But they have a um, a really fun unboxing and posing show mm -hmm. that they do where they take three challengers. They used to do it in person, but because of COVID, they did a Zoom one. And you can find it on YouTube where um, they basically had three of us each get the same figure uh, in our homes. We were all in a Zoom. And we opened it, not knowing what we were getting, and we had 15 minutes to pose our figures. So I went with a very traditional Harvey Dent pose, but yes. I cheated a little bit because I was like, I'm the only guy that's ever been on the game that can literally pose like I like it's a scene from a movie because I've actually been in this position before with Harvey Dent. So they were right. like, they were like, oh yeah, we've never had that happen before. So I felt like pretty cool. Um, like obviously, <laughs> I mean, instead of the the coin that came with um, the figure, uh, I I it's not here right now. I put it away, but I have a coin from when I was filming The Dark Knight that was given to me at the rap party that we were supposed to use for this like casino rap party. They had a whole like casino, you know. Uh, set up thing where you could play and gamble and win cool things like iPads and stuff. I, I'm such a collector. I refused to use my poker chip. So instead I just kept it and held on to it and I still have it. And I, I had had that in Harvey's hand. Oh, that's great. Yeah, man, I would have done the same thing because I'm such a nerd. I'm like, yes, I'm like, I don't need an iPad. I need this coin. <laughs> Dude, that is so cool, man. Uh, let's see, because uh, I know we got to wrap up here pretty quick. Um, we did a um, a survey online as far as um, our viewers' um, favorite late night horror show um, hosts, and I'm sure you have. You do you have a top four, and then I can do their top four. You want me to do their top four first? I'll do my my top four. Um, okay. My number one is a tie between Cremation Mortem. Yeah. She was my original horror host. She was who I grew up watching, Cremation, on um, KSHB TV 41 in Kansas City when I was a kid. And the legend, Sven Gulli. I mean, there's a bad reflection on there. You can't see it as well, but well, Sven, not that bad. Sven Gulli is just a legend. Oh, yeah. In horror hosting. Um, Vampira is definitely one of the first horror hosts that I ever really like dug into and started to learn a lot about like the history. And she was actually the first real horror host on television. There's a yeah. new book out about her that I'm excited to read. I haven't gotten to read it yet, but it's about Mail and Nermi, who was mm -hmm. Vampira. Um, yeah, she's one of my. Fa she's probably my top favorite. I I love Vampira ever since I was a kid. So I'm definitely gonna have to pick up that book. And then for number four, it's really hard because there are so many amazing horror hosts I love. I mean, there's 
the new guard of horror hosts, the Marlena Midnights. There's the like, you know, 80s, 90s, and now resurging, like the Joe Bobs and Elvira, obviously, still has a huge following. Um, but I think I'm gonna probably go with Zatcherly. I feel right. like that's like that's that's one of those just awesome old school ghouls that like the records, the whole the parades, the 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 whole character was so awesome. Um, so yeah. Okay. What was your what was your what was your audience's uh, poll? Okay. So I, I guess um, you know with the resurgence and a lot of our cats are fairly younger. Yes. And perhaps not all of them uh, too familiar with a lot. But this is what they got. Number four, Joe Bob Briggs. Yes. Um, uh, number three, Sven Gulli came in number three. Woo! Let's, number two, I was actually surprised about this. Number two, the Crypt Keeper. And I was like, yeah, that's a I that, love that, the Crypt Keeper, dude. I love the Crypt Keeper. Yes. I mean, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't even have thought of that. But we had so many people uh, email me about this. I was like, dude, that's brilliant. Yep. And number one, Elvira. Yes. <clears throat> so that's what the, uh, that's what the, well, the viewers have good taste. I think so, man. I really do. I really do think so. Um, if they're, especially if you're if you're customers of your shop, like I said, I'm going to send you uh, a stack of these so you can share them with anybody who wants them. And I'll sign some of them if anybody digs that. And um, yes. I think that would be rad. Yeah, man. If you could do that, that'd be cool. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess we'll do like a, a wrap up thing. And then okay. uh, I've got a question for you, like off the record. Nothing too right. crazy or anything. But, uh, okay. So, um, okay. All right, I got it. All right, man. So, uh, check it out, dude. We got David Desmolchin. The end of an interview. But we want to see more Count Crowley right here, right? You want a Count Crowley book? You want some more of this? You want some of these awesome cards signed by David himself? Well, we've got to at Dark Horse Comics on Instagram and Twitter. Let yep. them know that. You're ready for volume number two, correct, sir? Please, please, please. All of us creatures down in the crypt, man, we would be so grateful. It would make all of our cold, dead little hearts so warm if you guys uh, could support us through social media and um, tell your friends, tell your granny, tell the little kids all about it. I want to scare everybody and uh, give everybody a real good time. That's right, man, dude. Well, you give us a real good time by being on the show and by writing awesome stuff. Hey, man, thanks for showing us your collection. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks, brother. Hopefully, you'll be back on the show, and maybe we'll have you in shop, right? Sometime I, I next... am going to come. I'm coming, dude. I'm coming down south, and I'm going to come hit. I want to do a tour of terror this fall or winter. Um, as soon as my schedule opens up, I'd like to take a couple weeks and just travel around and go to shops, especially people like you. I've gotten to know through the phone or over the internet who I haven't gotten to meet in person. You know, I mean, I literally met you because I was just reaching out to shops, you know, saying, hey, I'm writing this comic and I'd like to. Um, and of course, you get a couple of like, there's always those ding dongs that are like sometimes the surliest dudes in the world are like those guys that have owned a comic shop for 40 years and they just can't be bothered. But yeah. I swear like 99% of the people I talked to were so supportive and so cool. And like, it's, we're a community. Everybody watching this knows and gets it. Like one of the reasons you wander in a comic shop for the first time isn't only because you love the art, the stories, the characters, there's a place where you belong no matter who you are, if you're a rocker, a dweeb, a burnout, if you're a nerd, if you're a jock, it doesn't matter. Like when you go into a comic shop, we're all the same. It's a brother and sisterhood. Uh, and I'm just so freaking grateful that uh, brick and mortar shops are not only like surviving, but are going to thrive post COVID. And I, um, I want to be there, man. I want to see people in person. I want you to get your dirty fingers on my sharpie and we're gonna be in the same space again and we don't have to worry that we're all gonna die like we're gonna get vaccinated we're gonna be safe it's gonna be awesome dude i can't wait dude i cannot wait uh to have you in store and um i don't know just be nerds in real life and all that jazz yeah, uh real quick before we go um my first thoughts when when you reached out to us <laughs> 
what comes to mind is when you're like, hey, this is David the Small and I'm um, doing this thing, and I'm like, Psh. I was like, the dude from Ant Man's calling. I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever, man. And then after talking for a little bit, I was like, oh my god, it's him. But <laughs> when I was giving you my information, you were like Von Graves. He was like that. That'd be a great character name. I'm like, use it, man. Use it. <laughs> I will. Because that's a deal, dude. We've got more characters that are going to be introduced in the coming of Count Crowley. So as long as there's no uh, legal, uh, you don't have like a copyright or something down on that, man. I want Von Graves to absolutely be a character. Because you know there's other markets in, in horror right. hosting. So Count Crowley and Jerry's show is only one show. I want there to be that like super snooty, like horror host that's out of like Toledo who thinks they're like the biggest deal in horror hosting. And then I want there to be that like really like trashy offensive one who doesn't give a crap and like ends up like, you know, that's you. That's Von Graves, dude. It is, man. Mr. <laughs> super trashy. I don't give a crap. There you go. I love it, man. And one more thing before we go, because uh, people were asking. Uh, so when we did quarantine con people, uh, you know, we would ask if you're a, if you you had a sandwich at a deli, um what would yours be so um in honor of today i've been posted it on uh instagram and it's uh it's got like over 500 likes by the way in less than an hour but i posted your sandwich and i gotta say it was delicious sir it was awesome it was i had it custom made it cost me about 30 dollars to custom make your sandwich <laughs> i'm honored <laughs> dude because you're bougie <laughs> you got that smulchin dude i'm dude. so honored it was great, man. It was really good. So for the people who are asking, it was awesome. It was delicious. Please, I, I put the ingredients on the Instagram. Make yourself a David Death Smulchin sandwich. Yeah. Um, right, Dark Horse. Let's get volume two. Count Crowley, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter. And, um, you know, if we get another volume, we get David down at the store. Maybe more than once. Who knows? So, um, David, thank you very much. Congrats. And uh, all the positive vibes to your continued success. And because uh, I don't think you have anything coming down the pipe anytime soon that people should be excited about. I don't think so, but hopefully soon we'll find hey. out. No, seriously, hey, man, dude, we'll I appreciate uh, I appreciate the brotherhood the, and mo much monster love to you, man. You're so awesome, and I um, please give my best to everybody at the shop. And I'll be putting these in the mail like today or tomorrow, so hopefully they'll get there soon. And um, Let's stay in touch, and we'll talk. Uh, we'll talk maybe around Halloween time. Right on. Sweet. All right, man. Back to the shop with Chaz and Jerk. You want your comics, games, and sports cards, but you don't want to leave the house. I know. I don't. You don't want anything. I don't. I mean, I do want stuff. But I don't want to leave my house. You know, it's something like that. <laughs> well, guess what? We got a way for you can do this. All you gotta do is stop by the online store. That's right at shop.theadventurebeginstx.com. For all your nerdy needs. All of them. And guess what? There is free shipping. That's our F-R-E-E. -E. That spells free for all shipping to all the 50 states for all your orders that are over $100. That's right, man. Boom. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I don't know. Pet of the week! What? This is the thing that people I love like, this. I know, me too. We try getting you to email us before with questions. We try getting you to email us before with other stuff. But once pets are involved, boom, yeah, there it is. Real people are sending in real pets. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making up emails just to get in attention. Mm, yeah. Weird. Well, I try to. I try to do a segment. I no, try you to do. Get it rolling. You, you know, we, we did try. We gave it a good. Gave, gave yeah. it a good stop. Anyway, pets. <laughs> They're talking about. We're talking what do you pets? keep bringing up old stuff? I don't know. Anyway, check this out. This is Cleveland. What? As Harry Potter. All the people are dressing. Like, this was. This isn't like a thing that we need to happen. But I love it. Nah, why not? It's a nerd store. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm. And Cleveland says, "Hi there, Peter." <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> That's what he said. Hi, I'm Harry Potter. No, 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 no. Anyway, so that's what he says. Is that what he's saying? Of course. Cleveland the dog. His name is Cleveland the dog. Is Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter. Okay. All right. Mavioso. There it is. is there it is. is. It's waiting for something. I'm ready for the comments to say I said it wrong. Uh, we also gave away a Mezcal gift card. We did. And, of course, well, not of course, but here are the people who won it. Shay and Jesse. Shay and Jesse. You know, it's a funny thing. Jesse has won, like, all the bad idea buttons, right? Yeah. So far. So when he came in, um, he was like, man, uh, take a picture of my wife. Don't take a picture of me because, you know, I keep winning all this stuff. And I'm like, because you keep doing it right. 
Yeah. If other people are mad because they're not winning, it's because they're not doing it right. Yeah. Jesse, you know what? He commented. He liked it. He shared it with a lot of people, actually, which yeah. was really cool. So, therefore, he wins the gift card. It's, so, it's what, if you're really mad, simple. it's because you didn't do it it's, right. Just start doing it right, guys. you got to do all three steps. It's as simple as that. It's, yeah. it's really easy. Also, if you want to try to win these bad idea buttons, just show up. Way earlier than Jesse. Yeah. Because I get here early on Wednesdays, and yeah. he's here. Yeah. So, I think so he spends like, the night. Do it. Yeah. Anyway, before we take off, man, you got anything going on? Um... Not a lot, actually. I'm enjoying some really downtime right now. How about you? Nothing. Nothing? Just trivia. Regular old stuff. Normal chat stuff. Normal chat stuff. Come check oh, it right. out. On, uh, come hang out with me on some trivia nights. Right. You say summer's kicking off here soon? Is summer kicking off? Soon, yeah. I mean, it's it's May. Yeah. June's like right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't know, I don't know if you have anything going on in this hour. Well, oh, summer. All right. No, no. Yeah. I just met this week. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to like, you know, plant seeds for a future thing. Anyway, shut up. <laughs> I got, stuff, I got stuff on. here in a couple of weeks. Well, there you go. That's kind of cool. Well, we'll get to that later. Yeah. All right, man. Be sure to check out this week's Zoinks, where we open up another hella zazzy mystery box from our friends overseas at Z-Box. Z-Box! Yeah. Guess what? You want your very own? Do you? You do. You do. Well, awesome. All you got to do is go to us.zabby.com to get a Zabby box full of geeky goodness. It's a lot of alliteration right there. Uh, and don't forget to tell them that the R&R &R nerd, this guy right here, rock, rock and roll, and roll uh, he sent you. As simple as that. I we forgot the nerd part, but that's fine. Rock and roll nerd. <laughs> anyway, either way, whatever. That's it for this week's episode of the Adventure Begin Show. Bill, I'll have you on next week. Um, he came in early and just closed the door. That's all it is, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, what can you do? He's got another case of the Mondays. Yeah. <laughs> Just another Manic Monday? New episodes drop every Monday on certain social media platforms like YouTube and Facebook and on Roku. For, for me, me and, and for you. Through the woodlandsonline.com. That's right. We hope you had a great time with us. We'll join us again next week for more comics, more games, more events, more more, and more other fun stuff. And guess what, Chaz? What? Did you know that today is National Pack Rat Day? You know what? Interesting story. I had a pack rat make a nest in my muffler. Once that I couldn't get it out. So by the time I got it to the mechanic, poor thing was exhausted. See you, nerds. <laughs>